hello, hello, Crossroads witches and other interesting magical beings. As always, happy to be back here doing another video. This is in regard to some questions that were asked of me. And I was like, well, these are probably questions that a lot of uh, you magical practitioners out there are asking. So I thought I'd give you my 40 plus years opinion. And this is one witch's opinion on what I think about should we put pictures of our altars online? Should we post pictures of our magical workings? And as I sit here in this room right now behind me is one of my altars that is quite uh, often, it is shown on different social media, it's shown online and things like that. And then right behind this camera is another altar, another working space that I have no intentions of showing anyone. It's my personal space. So my answer is yes and no. All right. You're like, well, that's not, that's not what I want to hear, Taryn. Uh, first, I want to think about, uh, I had a couple of notes I wrote down and my first one was techno witches. Uh, and which is this wonderful group of magical witchy folks who embrace social media, embrace the technology that's part of their magic. Actually putting their altar online is part of the magic. When they're creating it, they're creating it with the idea that it's going online. So for them, that's part of their magic. For a lot of us witches, uh, we look upon it as, I think, uh, safe space, public space, all right? That's what I was just talking. This is a public space. I'm more than willing to share it. The altar behind camera is a safe space. I do not want to share it, all right? Uh, so you need to think about your altar, the altar that you're considering taking a picture of, and do you want to share it? And if you do want to share it, share it. If you don't, don't. All right. Now, next question was, does this diminish the magic of your altar? I don't know. All right. Um, I don't, I know when I take pictures of this altar, I actually think it increases its energy. All right. But I think if I was to take a picture of my private altar, it would potentially decrease its power. Just to confuse y'all a little more, I'm thinking is how this conversation's going at this point. But I want you guys to understand, a lot of times we think in terms of yes, no, either, or, and become very black and white, very decisive in what we're saying. And I want you to think about that in between lane. The lane that says yes and no to both sides. The lane that says it depends. Um, it depends on my altar. It depends on my mood. It depends on my circumstance. I don't think there is a no, you shouldn't, yes, you should uh, in regard to this subject. It is just depends on the energy of the altar. All right. So yes, it can potentially diminish and yes, it can potentially increase. It's your magic, witch. All right. Uh, next one I had was that folks ask, are, are online altars being cursed on? Probably. I work on that assumption all the time. Uh, I shot a video a little while back about uh, I work on the assumption people are cursing on you and nothing's a surprise. Uh, unfortunately, we got a lot of low vibrations out there. Envy, greed, all right, lack of self-worth. I mean, I could just go on with, you know, and folks see that you got a little something going on. So, of course, they're going to trash on it. Of course, they're going to wish you ill, all right? Uh, that's just the nature of it. So, what are you doing? Uh, grounding, shielding, and protecting. I don't worry about what those other fools are doing, all right? I worry about my space and I know if my space is right and nobody can mess with it. Okay. And that's how my idea of my altars when I put things online and I'm like, sure, 
This altar is protected. All right. This altar has got a deity, entity, ancestral spirit, energy in it. All right. Okay. So I know, buddy. Go ahead. Try. See what it works on you. Uh, that's how I feel about it right there. Um, there's also folks out there on the other side, let me say this, that when they see these pictures, they're putting out warm energies. And I think that's happening a lot more often than the icky folk. And so I really don't think you should worry about the icky folk. Like I said, as long as you're keeping yourself straight, you're keeping your space, your life straight. If you are living your life right, you ain't gotta worry about those fools, okay? Alter etiquette online. Um, you know, how, when, and why, where. And we, I had a little discussion with the witches on it, you know. And I think basically what we came up with was that uh, don't put anything online that you're not comfortable with. Um, and to, you know, share it in places that you're comfortable with but also witches, magic beings out there. You know, if you put something online, it's online. I know, tell them where it's going, what it's doing, and who's using it. So think about that. And do you want that potential picture to be used, all right? I mean, like I was saying earlier, for some of the techno witches, their magic is wrapped up in creating that beautiful altar that they take pictures of, they share, they make, uh, what is it, little TikTok videos out of them and things like that. Those are beautiful. I, I love it. I think it's amazing what they're doing. All right. Uh, the techno witches are an emerging group of magical practitioners who are learning to use the matrix. Uh, and so we have to be aware that uh, many different witches, many different magic, and that the rules are the ones you create. And ultimately, this is your altar, your space. Okay. And I hope I was able to give you a little bit of tips, you know, tricks and thinking about it on should I put a picture of my altar online? And my answer is, tell me what you think you should do. Because that's the right answer, which. All right, which is, of course, I want to thank all of the folks in which support the channel, the folks in which are signing up for our 13 Moon program. I have met some amazing witches in our 13 Moons community. I encourage all, please come participate. Uh, we've got virtual things going on, and we also periodically do in life things. That is the end of this message. I know you diehards out there who watch till the end. All right, July 14th through the 17th, I will be at Mystic South in Atlanta, Georgia. It is a big magical conference. I invite all of you, please come to Atlanta. Uh, many members of the House of Witchcraft are gonna be there. Go check it out, mysticsouth.com. Sign up for the newsletter so you can see all the happenings, all right? And I look forward to meeting all of you. And with that said, get out there, Fly those brooms, have a bright, blessed day, and as always, amen, bless be, ashe, and a bobo.